Lever has essentially three parts. Effort, load, and fulcrum. And based on the position of effort, load, and fulcrum, lever can be of three types. Class 1, Class 2, and Class 3. Fulcrum in the center, Class 1 lever. Load in the center, Class 2 lever. And effort in the center is Class 3 lever. Now let's learn about the effort arm and load arm of the lever. The arm joining the effort to the fulcrum is the effort arm, or the distance between the effort and the fulcrum. Load arm, the arm joining the load and the fulcrum, or the distance between the load and the fulcrum is known as load arm. And it's the length of the load arm and effort arm of the lever that decides the mechanical advantage of that type of lever. Now, let's see the effort arm and load arm of different types of levers. Class 1 lever, that has fulcrum in the center here. This is the load arm of the lever, that is the distance between the load and the fulcrum. And this is effort arm of the lever, that is the distance between the effort and the fulcrum. Remember, the rule is that the longer the effort arm, the larger the mechanical advantage of the lever. Now, let's learn it with examples. Here we have a class one lever. This point is effort, this is fulcrum, and this is the load. Effort arm is the distance between the effort and the fulcrum. So this much is the effort arm. And load arm is the distance between the load and the fulcrum. So this much is the load arm. So you can clearly see over here that the effort arm is much longer than the load arm. And the rule is the longer the effort arm the larger the mechanical advantage. So this lever will give a large mechanical advantage. Now here is one more example. Here we have one more class, one lever. Effort arm is the distance between fulcrum and effort. So this much is its effort arm. Load arm is the distance between the load and the fulcrum. So this much is its load arm. So you can clearly see that the load arm is bigger than the effort arm. So according to rule, it will not give any mechanical advantage. Rather, it will be more difficult to lift the load here. So what we learned, we learned the effort arm should be longer for getting the work done easily. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!